Yeah, and I also think he might be the only finalist who was also in the bouldering final. Uh, so, you know, that's extra skin, that's extra energy. Qualifiers was at 8 a.m. in the morning, the day after finals, which finished at around like 10 p.m. So um, I don't know what number he went, but, you know, it definitely wasn't much sleep of a night. And uh, I hope he, yeah, has recovered and uh, able to, to show his best out here. I saw Brooks' Instagram. She was cycling into ISO at like 6 in the morning or something. Yeah. Like early start. Yeah, I was second on my route. And, uh, yeah, it was definitely a pre-six wake-up call there. So, yeah. All right, here we go. Serato. Takes his time, rests at the beginning, just make sure he's chalked up and ready. I've heard the word uh, sticky be used a lot for yes. describing his style for sure. Yeah, I got Super told impressive. that. And, and once you've been told that, you can't um, I know. see it, you know? <laughs> yeah. He yeah, puts his bit. hand on and it doesn't move. Yeah, once yeah. he's touched it, that's it. Yep. Right, makes the clips. So the crowd are asked to cheer. They do. It really is absolutely packed down in the stadium. Yeah, definitely pretty cool that, you know, like uh, someone who's um, ne nearly half Alex's age is, uh, you know, competing in the same final and, uh, you know, could, could out outpace him in some way. Yeah, you do feel like there's a bit of a changing of the guard yeah. at the top level at the moment. Having but, said that, Jakob is out soon, and yeah, he's definitely... For sure. Yeah, at the same time, like I think it is an older final, for sure, than like uh, some of the, the bouldering ones. All right, so Sticky Serato sticks well. Look at that swing. Kept his legs together, controlled it. High left toe hook, that's clever. Now we saw Alex with the high right toe hook. Looks like the high left one also works. Yeah, it's kind of begging begging out for it, isn't it? They're good toes that Using the rubber on top of the shoes. And that left foot just has not moved. It feels like the first half of this route is a case of not over-gripping, not getting pumped, and saving yourself from the middle section. <laughs> Crazy that he's resting right before there. Nice. Oh, he needs to get a foot up for a moment. He battled. Now make the clip, and I think he's going to lock the knee, and he's seen it. No, he hasn't seen it yet. Yeah, it's interesting, like, different body sizes kind of fit into rest differently. Like, I think that for Alex, maybe it was uh, pretty convenient to keep that knee, but for him, maybe it's not, not needed. Maybe he's not even as that tired right now. Which is outrageous to think yeah. about. Yeah, he looked comfortable in that straight arm position on it. Didn't really need the knee. But look, he's resting in interesting places, always with the toes. It's using every opportunity to shake out. Yeah, it's true. I think it's always interesting, like what athletes decide to use, like toes, heels, um, kind of shows to your strengths. Right, so Atto crosses underneath. Right hand in the pocket, and everyone knows what's coming though. Holds the swing. Super exciting now. The sun gone, long gone. The spotlight. Picking him out. Up to the pinch with the right hand. Another pinch. Final series of crimson. This is where the athletes have really struggled so far. Swings again. Cutting feet there. Oh, and he misses the left as well. So the points all around 42 plus. Only Alex getting through so far, but Serato jumps up to silver with that due to count back. And I think he must be pretty happy with that. Serato taking a moment to remind himself of this route. The rain has passed us by. It's gone for the moment, it will probably return. And off he goes, quick at the bottom. 
like he's also super young. It's impressive. Crazy, isn't it? I, I think he's still 16, unless he's suddenly turned 17. No, he's still 16. Wow. Does that make it? That makes him our, our youngest competitor in the finals. In the finals, yeah. Yeah, I think he might be done with the youth scene for a bit. Never know, though. Who knows? He might show up to South Korea <laughs> for the youth world. Just you get know, a couple of after the season. <laughs> yeah, why not? After the burn. I'm not sure if it's during burn or after. I it's, think it's after. It's yeah. after. Right, Just directly. a couple of days. Just a couple. Yeah. All right, so he's got the right heel in. Matches. Only Alex and Adam doing the jam there. I really like the style of climbing. Yeah, I've been impressed all season. He just kind of came onto my radar in Hachiochi because he was so new, you know, we didn't know that much yeah. about him. And then, boy, has he been good. My favorite part is how he uh, intentionally weights his feet. Like you'll see like his foot will go Boom. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of an adjustment. Comes back into the underclink. Gets the right foot twisted in now. There's a lot of intention in his climbing. Yeah, I want to make a decision. He commits to it. Into the underclings. All right, here we go, the jump. Only one athlete hasn't done it so far. Left toe in, left hand on the crimp. Wow, he jumped from the toe hook. Crazy unwind. Most of the athletes have taken their left toe hook out before. All right, well, he looks fresh so far. He's got the easy bit done, and I say easy with air quotations. Quarter of the wall to go, and he will take a moment here to shake out. Currently, Jakob Schubert, 43, is our leader. Then Adam Ondra and Alex Magos after that. The veterans are on the board. That will be a heck of a podium. That will. It? I wonder how many times this podium has happened. Uh, maybe, yes. You know, maybe it has before. Maybe, I'm maybe, sure someone knows out there. Maybe not in that order, but... Yeah, those three. I the mean. three are, are legends. Yeah. And Serato, the young upstart, <laughs> might have something to say about it. Into the crimps. In the shoulder, nice. Right, he flicks the hand out. This is quite a full-on move, though. At, stretched out. Oh, wow. Right, he's got his left hand on the pinch. He needs... <laughs> Just a casual shake. Needs to bump, and he does. Finds the toe hook. Nice. Goes from the toe hook, okay. All right, here we go. This is all important. <laughs> left foot directly, okay. He's going to try to go left hand, maybe. Yeah, he's setting up for it. No, now, yes, he oh, is. Wow. Whoa, oh, wow. No. Whoa, but that was wrong. Right, that foot comes round. Yeah, you could see that intention. He wanted to do yeah. it right from the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Serato, so exciting to watch throughout the season. You all, you kept mentioning he's more of a lead climber. So, considering that he did those results in bouldering. And at 16, climbing like this, it's so impressive. He's a bit like Yanya, and I don't want to throw names around, but the way that he reads a sequence, executes it without too many doubts, I think that shows some real good climbing technique. And again, it's not that obvious at 16. No, it's not at all. He's learned from some of the best, though, within that Japanese squad. They're bringing him through. Let's see how he can do tonight. It's not overhype. <laughs> I made that mistake before. Isn't it our job, technically? <laughs> technically so, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a balancing act. But we are expecting some big things here for Serato. Tends to not really have bad days. 
big leap to the right, holds the swing straight into that straight arm resting position. Brings the right foot up into the heel, into the crimp. Bumps with those crimps, solid so far from Serato. He's trying to just hold the energy, save it for the head wall, up with the pinch. And we can see that difference between Collins' run and Serato. It's these moments where he's a bit cleaner. So as you know, I like numbers and how they match. So far in Villers, he got sixth place, and in Innsbruck, he got fourth place. So I guess it has to be a two this time around. <laughs> right, I, I'm following your maths there. It took me a moment. I'm with you. Because he jumps from yeah, two no, no, and no. two. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. And I'm, I'm with jumping you. him higher. Yep, yep. Thank you. Because it's a jumpy route. So far we saw two jumps. Yes. There's a theme. <laughs> there is a theme. <laughs> Serato, you need to uh, get Terry's OCD brain in order here. You need a two. You, <laughs> you need didn't see place. the mood board back there. <laughs> All right, well, Serato rests on the heel, now cuts loose above the crowd, brings the right toe down. Bumps to the third half moon dish on the wall. And just like Toby, he topped both qualification routes. Yeah, so he's had some good performances so far this weekend. Serato looking calm down at the clock that right arm with a slight shake in it just showing how much effort he's putting in he's not displaying it though <laughs> he knows the rest is coming up I think anyone can see that athletes have been chalking up here clips with the toe in oh he was thinking about that clip he checked underneath the other clip yeah well as we've seen you've got to make sure but again, you see in, in his climbing style how efficient he is compared to other climbers that were looking around for that toe hook on the left side. He just placed it while, while going up. Yeah, and like almost in instinctively. Sorry. Exactly. No, you're right. He's, he's in a good position. He does it naturally. Ah, talent. Isn't it nice to have? <laughs> it's nice to have annoying when you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so Serato keeping an eye on the clock as he rests here. There's one over to his left. That's the one he keeps catching. Right, shake out. I think he's almost ready to go for this pocket. No hesitation from Serato. As with Sam, the boulder in him coming out. Reaches through, and he's still in seventh. It just shows how important the head wall has been for the men's comp. And he's in it now, standing just above the metal coping. Climbing quickly as that pump starts to come now. Nice, Third. Nice drop knee, really kept him in. Close to the wall. Well, he's just looking for a blind foot. His leg is shaking so much. I think he just had to find it. It's right underneath him, and he wanted to make sure. Of it. You can see him just testing it almost. Aaron <laughs> finds a heel hook, a really subtle heel hook. Well, he's got plenty <laughs> of time, and he's looking in control still, but now it works. This was where we saw Alex fall. Oh, that left foot wasn't secure. It is now onto the side pole, fingertips only. Serato shaking up to well let's wait for the score 48 is beneath Sam Avazu's time sorry score so that means that Sam is guaranteed silver and it's going to be a guaranteed three Japanese podium as well with Hannes Puman in sixth place at the moment I was reminded uh, at 5 a.m. this morning <laughs> music playing outside my window so that was fun. <laughs> Do they not know who you are? Unbelievable. Oh, no, I know, right? How rude. I'll send someone next time. We'll be all right. All right, Serato gets going. He is surely one to watch for the feet, uh, this man, as we go into the world champs. I think at the moment, if I was to pick my uh, possible Olympic qualifying places from the world champs, I'd have to say him and Toby are right up there. Yeah, they're definitely in with a good shot for sure. Like, just showing the consistent performances across both disciplines um, for the for the lead boulder combined is is so so important um, yeah so I would say both of them are in with that that really good shot and probably 
all eyes on uh, on Burn trying to secure one of the early positions, not having to go through the later, more drawn out sort of qualification processes as well. Exactly. Well, I mean, you might be in a situation where you leave it so last minute, it's a couple of weeks before the Olympics. Yeah, absolutely. If you're qualifying through the through the OKS next year, it's a, a really tight game for sure. And stressful because it's going to have to be a, I think it's a sum of the whole yeah. series. So, yeah, you won't know until quite close to game day. Yeah, it's going to be a full-on year next year in 24 as we build towards Paris. And so Tony, sorry, Serata and Raku here gets the toe in, jumps, cuts loose. And he looks so comfortable during yesterday's semi-finals. Barely looked like he was breathing on the route. Yeah, super calm, collected, mature climber, especially given he's... Uh, not very old at all. No, 16, unless he's had a birthday, which I don't think he has. Yeah, 16 still. Hasn't won on lead yet. Third in Chamonix, sixth in Vila, fourth in Innsbruck. So up in the top 10 every time. Yeah, for sure. Uh, well and truly capable of it. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll see. We'll see, looking good so far. He hasn't made too many mistakes, hasn't really looked uncertain just yet no and he finds that blue jib with the left comes into the undercling shaking out the left you can see all the athletes gathered on the black diamond chairs down at the bottom where the lights coming from the backstage that's where they are serato meanwhile is at the head wall break point from 40 degrees to 30 degrees it will still feel very overhanging on his arms looking chill looking relaxed he'd likely know that Oh, yeah, nice little knee scum there as well. That's really cool. That'll be, yeah, I think that'll be saving a lot of juice. Also, that sort of, like, little frog position he's got on the on that lower volume as well is allowing him to put a lot of weight through both feet. Yeah, he looks comfortable. And that's what he's holding on to, though. Bad slippers, but look how casual he is. He's got his leg pressed right against it. Yeah, often often in World Cups, I find the, the best holds are usually where you find the worst rests. It's, it's often got to do with the body position rather than just the quality of the holds themselves. Usually if you've got a jug or something, it's going to be like this really ugly move. But uh, yeah, he's able to put his weight through these big foot holds on some less than good holds and, and get more back than he might from shaking out one arm on a jug, you know? Yeah, I do. And it's good timing from him. He rested enough and then just launched through that sequence. Setters are expecting to lose a couple there. And everyone threw it cleanly. Yeah, I guess it just speaks to the uh, the caliber of the climbers in the final. Even though these sort of big names might be missing, it's still like, for the root setters, they're still having to really bring their A game to split the field. Yeah, no change for them. It's there's so many. I think it was 16 men or, or it was 16 women, but it was 16 men or 16 w and 18 women, I think, who had been in finals from the semi-final round. So it's still experience. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Super high level of climbing. Yeah. All right, well, we could be watching Serato climb towards gold here. He's got to keep it together through this section, though. Moves up to fifth place with 43. Looking so comfortable so far. Yeah, no issues. Looks at the clock to check. He's got plenty of time. But you can see the slopers are coming. Makes the quick draw. Doesn't need to worry about that anymore. Oh, and for the first time we see him, wow, well, forget that, he just bumps up with the right hand. Yeah, feet off, looking super casual, gets that heel up. I honestly thought he looked a little tired for a sec. And he takes the win. That's it. Incredible. Well, that's his first lead gold. Will we see a top, I guess? I hope so. He's got to launch towards the women's route on the right. Here we go. Big jump. Latches. Incredible. Well, there we go. So he's got to click that draw, though. Gets it in, finally. And that is our gold medalist here tonight. He was the favourite on paper, he was the favourite on the night as well. Serato takes victory once again. Serato is a very interesting his guy, is like really young and uh, like already congratulating him on, on his win. <laughs> it was like, he was more hyped to get congratulated than me congratulating him. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> Now, there is an appeal going against Toby here. So another team has tried to downgrade Toby's plus. So we'll let you know what happens with that. But that could 
make a difference. So we'll see. Yeah, well, but make a big difference. That means that Alex would be pushed up. So I, I would assume that the German team uh, appealed against it. So yeah, I was trying to be diplomatic there, but yes, it's probably it German. It's probably. Yeah, there's no way anyone else would. No. But uh, th that's the thing. Like, they are willing to risk it and to be out again. Yeah, so that Funny. appeals. There, so we'll let you know if that gets accepted or not. But right now, Serato should make easy work at the bottom of this route. Mm, there is a question if the Continental Qualifiers are organized by the IFSC or is it organized by a different organization. It should be, yeah, it is an IFSC organization, uh, but the OQS is partial. I think it's not fully, but there is like involvement since IQS uh, features uh, other sports as well. But the Continental ones, yes, they are. Also, maybe just by the Continental IFSCs, like IFSC Europe, IFSC Asia, I think that's more like... Yeah, the, the Pan Ams is organized by, by IFSC. Pan Am. Yeah. yeah. Right, let's just watch this for Toby here. So he starts the swing. Easy work yeah, from nice. him. Yep. He is the person that is so fluent in dynamic moves. Like, he flashes so many difficult, difficult coordination moves, like really tricky things that some people or I or other others need to project for day two, three. He comes, like, warm up, flashes it. He's incredibly skilled. He's such good, like, sense of coordination and, and, and his body and really impressive. I find it hard to know when he's pumped as well. Doing the oh, same yeah. fun, right? <laughs> yeah, I watched flew. that. I, I saw was like, I <laughs> he flew, he flew, and yeah. then just fell. Yeah, like, yeah I didn't yeah. see it coming at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just looks very calm out there, but doing his flowy thing at the moment, just between those moves, it's beautiful to see. That sound of the background, by the way, is a rattle. We figured it out eventually from last <laughs> night. So there's kids swinging rattles in the background. Here we go to the crack section, goes oh, with the toe. Oh, but he can actually chill on the Come toe. On. Oh, I can't <laughs> believe this. And also his teammates are a bit surprised how easy he makes it look. Oh, effortless. Ridiculous. Well, someone did a meme about me calling him his nickname, which is Sticky Serato, so I'm going to say it again, okay? <laughs> that is a sticky move with that toe from totally, Serato. Totally. That's insane, really. I can't believe it. <laughs> Just to, to watch Toby try the same thing and yeah. really struggle it. And Serato's like, oh, crack it in, no problem, let's go. Uh, another toe again. He seems so relaxed at the moment. Look at this. Beauty. It's just... You know, if you're watching this and you want some inspiration, check out Serato. Try to climb like he does if you're at your local gym. Awesome from him. And now he's at the head wall already. Look at the time as well. I mean, Jesse was like 140 at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He climbs pretty fast. He's not resting as much. He doesn't need to, obviously. No. <laughs> but remember the semis. So I just... Well, he's climbing up towards the leader. Remember how far Jesse is? They're all the way on the left. I heard a rumor once that Sarato is doing intervals on the routes that people are projecting from the team. Wow. Yeah. The Japanese team? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess that, that says it all. This was the rumor like before the season even started. Struggled nice. a bit with this clip. Ah, you can see on his face that it's right. not as easy anymore, but keeps going. But Serato versus Jesse, and Serato is very, very close right now. He's coming up to that point. Slowly getting it. There is a little jib on it. He finds it. Oh. Got to go for 42 plus. He goes without a toe hook even. This is where he, now he won. Yeah. There we go. Can he get a top? He goes. Oh. <laughs> that was beautiful from Serato. And that is the overall as well. So that's oh, yeah. overall bouldering championship, overall lead, first season 16. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, let's uh, hope he keeps it up. There is uh, sometimes a curse for 16-year-old prodigies that they disappear after two years. Uh, Serato comes out. It's a thumbs up towards the camera would be great, Serato, please. Right, he, as everyone has done, easy through the first bit. Shoulders working here as he turns his body towards the right. And Serato reaches up onto the sausage thing, hits the intermediate, and 
will go towards that tick mark, hits it nicely, thumb right above the tick mark, fingers wrapped around the jib. Currently sitting at eight on 11. He's aiming for 30 plus to knock Shiona Mata off the top spot. Taisei Homa with that climb, although he missed the clip, he's still in second. Brings the heel in on the inside. Tarata moves his feet down. I, I can't wait to see how he does in that section. I, I kind of presume the toe hook was mandatory until we watched Xion do that. So, um, yeah. yeah. Well, both of the, those two, yeah. Yun Chang and, and Yun Chan. And, and Tai Sai, yeah. Yeah. No, he does lock the toe in. Oh, and rests with it, too. <laughs> it's the first time we've seen that. Yes. There's a great rest in the semis as well, Some uh, in the men's route. There's some interesting sort of heel, uh, heel toe cam rests and knee bars in there. Serato looks like a starfish out there on the wall <laughs> as he hangs in the spotlight. And do remember, if you're watching at home, this route, the set has told me, significantly harder than the semis. And we only saw two tops in semis. So if anyone manages to get close to this thing, it will be an amazing achievement. And Serato, a few have done. He makes the match. Shakes out, gets it in this time. It's good resting from Serato as well. Mm -hmm. He looks very comfortable. He just always does. I mean, that, that man is born to climb. It's just, <laughs> it's so impressive watching him. Yeah. But suddenly the muscles start standing out and he only just got the fingertips on there but he's in second place already and I think a plus off of this and he wins there yeah. you go oh Serato takes another gold I'd love to finish it and he's near the head wall well, he's onto the blues for the first time we get to see the blues back down again to try presumably to try to rest or readjust he is burning out here you can tell really fighting Ooh. elbows come up nope he's still going <laughs> <laughs> I told you unreal just from stuck to that sloper sticky Serato it's yeah. his nickname <laughs> he just holds on to these things or well, one of potentially the hardest Route of the whole circuit, and Serato goes midway through the head wall, floats back down to the ground. And I think he knows. Yes, he does. It's another gold. Well, the 16 year old will go into next season as a firm favourite. So the men are out, and Serato, of course, will be standing in the middle there.